Example 9, the gradient of a normal to the curve at the point x, y equal to 1 over 3 minus 2x. So now this one is a little bit tricky because they're giving you gradient for normal. That is 1 over 3 minus 2x. This curve passes through the point 3, 5, find the equation of curve. Whenever you want to find the equation of curve, you must think of the dy dx. You have to find the dy dx here. So how to find dy dx? dy dx actually is your gradient for tangent. Just now we have discussed that is tangent and normal are perpendicular. That is gradient for tangent. Multiply gradient for normal equal to negative 1. So now gradient for tangent equal to negative 1 over gradient for normal. That is 1 over 3 minus 2x. Therefore you have gradient for tangent equal to 2x minus 3. This is actually your dy dx. So now you have dy dx. You can find the equation of curve by integrate your dy dx. So remember, dy dx actually is the gradient for tangent and gradient for tangent multiply with gradient for normal equal to negative 1. So integration, you have 2x squared over 2, that is x squared minus 3x plus c. So you have one point here, 3, 5. You substitute into the equation, 5 equal to 3 squared minus 3 times 3 plus c. c equal to 5. Therefore, equation of curve, y equal to x squared minus 3x plus 5. b, the equation of tangent at the point 3, 5. Equation of tangent, very simple, because you already have dy dx, that is 2x minus 3. When x equal to 3, dy dx, that's the gradient for tangent, equal to 2 times 3 minus 3, which is equal to 3. So using the equation y minus y1 equal to gradient for tangent x minus x1. Always remember this is how you find the equation of tangent. So y minus 5, because this is 3, 5, y equal to 5, y1 equal to 5, gradient for tangent is 3, x minus 3. So expand it, you have 3x minus 9. You rearrange everything, your equation for tangent y equal to 3x minus 4.